would like the true story of five assholes picked to live in a shithole and have their lives taped to find out what happens when you stop taking out the trash and start acting like pieces of shit. The Bangalores. Cool. Oh. Falco and Moogle are bored. Sure, they love each other. Kinda. Come to think of it, they really haven't even consummated this marriage. So let's put a little spark in this relationship. Even better, how about three sparks? It's baby making time, the 21st century way. I don't need intercourse, doctor. Give me three hits of Falco, three germs of Moogala, three Petri dishes, and let Darwin do the rest. Excellent. Numero uno, the oldest daughter. We get less personality traits the younger they get, but thank God we know the essentials. They're dirty, mean, definitely obscene. They're the unwanted clan. Public enemy number one! Understand? Meet Fargley. Next up, let's change it up. Instead of public enemy, he'll be a smart, conniving brat. And even though I should pick Slob for this one personality slot, it's time to tap into the trait evil. His name is Carlor. Carlor can f up everyone, and he will. People, pets, furniture. I'll just have to spend a little more time with this guy and make sure he doesn't shower or do any dishes. And lastly, there's Gary, who starts smart, but is burdened with that family gene slob. Hmm, Carlor and Gary can't both be whiz kids. Let's change Carlor to a playful, rambunctious scamp with no shoes. This family is complete. Mom, Dad, meet your new kids. Oh, what a happy f***ing family. But enough of this meet and greet. You kids have your first day of school tomorrow. Time to get some rest. Damn, forgot about beds again. Well, that's fine. We'll buy some double damn. We only have $748. Time to sell shit. But nothing extreme. Golden cows can go, some flamingos, some house lights, but that is it. The Bangalore's got an image to keep in this neighborhood, and I ain't gonna let these needy kids in their beds take that away. Which is why this family needs to make some sacrifices. New family rule, kids sleep outside in shacks. If this family's gonna bring in any dough, Falco and Mugla need this room to let their talents grow. Don't worry, the girls get a toilet. We're not raising some kind of farm here, Jesus. <laughs> but I don't trust Carlor. He needs some good old-fashioned isolation. All right, it's time for bed, my children. Tomorrow is a new day. Huh? Well, good morning, Carlor. Come on into the house, big guy. Papa is making breakfast. God damn, Falco, who cuts themselves three times? Sounds like someone didn't get a lot of sleep. All right, let's fast forward. Time for school, guys. What's this? Bargley finds some money in the bathroom. Should she keep it? Yes, obviously. All right, school's out. How was your first day at school, guys? Aw, Carlor's embarrassed because he hasn't showered. Whoa, don't you turn your back on me. Get your ass back here. I know just the thing to cheer you up, my little angel. Of death. There you go. All better, huh? Okay, so the gang's all here. What should we do tonight? Well, now that the kids are in the picture, it's the perfect time to invite ourselves over to the Henderson family next door for a nice, warm welcome. Falco, you know the drill. All right, we're off to a good start. Moogla greets Wanda with an insult. That's nice. Falco and Bobby hitting it off, literally. Carlo and Jack becoming besties. <laughs> well, look at that. Father like son, huh? Looks like Moogla is complaining about her marriage. Typical. Gary's freaking out about some smelly shoe. Oh boy, Moogla has no shame flirting with Bobby right in front of Falco. Where's his wife? Oh boy, busted. Okay, time to go everyone. Carlor needs his nap. And so does Mama. Well, for the first family outing, that went horribly. But hey, that's the Bangalore way, right? Next time on The Bangalores. The Bangalore house slowly falls apart. Falco and Moogla get dolled up and go out clubbing. 
Bartley babysits, but when she's too busy texting, she lets Carlor sneak off to the park at night, where he meets a homeless man in the public bathroom. The Bangalores. Yeah.